Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nomonde. So I must say that I was a bit reluctant uh, to film this video because I thought, oh, talking about traditions uh, and rituals, maybe I might be crossing a line a bit. But I went back and thought again that we can uh, find ways of talking about things such as this uh, without, crossing, uh, without crossing the line and most importantly, uh, without disrespecting the culture and uh, the rituals and the traditions. So today I'll be treading carefully as I will be talking about the Tosa tradition Utsiki. So what is Utsiki? Ndoni Utsiki. Utsiki is a ceremony that is usually done in the Tosa culture to welcome and introduce uh, the bride Umagodi to the groom's uh, family and the community. Glomieni. So Umagodi will be introduced to the ancestors, Umagodi will be introduced to the family as a whole, and then Umagodi will also be introduced to the village or the, the community. So what are the five things you can expect on this day as Umagodi? So number one, as I mentioned earlier on, that you'll be introduced to the family and to the community and to everyone. So expect to see quite a number of people. It is not a family affair. It is quite, a, 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 especially if, you, if your day will be, your ceremony will be in the village. So it is quite a, a communal affair or a village affair. So the family will, will invite people. Family will invite neighbors, uh, community members, and of course the, the extended family members will also be invited. So expect to see uh, a number of people to who will come and welcome you. But the ceremony is mostly attended by the uh, older generation as they have the general life experience and marriage experience. So they will come and welcome welcome you and give you some uh, uh their advice here and their marriage advice here and there and yeah so they will be there to witness uh, the whole ceremony with there to welcome you and give you some advice okay so number two the second thing that you can expect on that day is that is the it is the day that you will be dressed in your makoti attire so before the ceremony begins, your mother-in-law or your sister-in-law or both of them will help you to put on your, your attire. So your attire is usually like this. It will be your black duke, as you have seen around on social media. <laughs> it will be your black duke and then it will be your blouse, which is your long-sleeved blouse. And then here on your upper body, you will you'll see... Uh, some people will have a towel and then on top of the towel they will have uh, a, a, a small blanket or that's how we call it and then at the bottom you will have your skirt and then your apron your long apron which is the same size as your your skirt or the same length as the skirt okay so that is the the attire for a, a new magodi for a brand new magodi so you would hear people uh, ask how long do you wear this uh, the intense attire for, for the attire for a brand new magodi in our times it really depends uh, with uh, with the family and with your situation in the olden days they would wear it in uh for months uh, up to to a year uh, I, I mean, when I mean it with the situation as well, is that if you are Makoti who's going to be based in the village, you might wear it longer than a Makoti who is based uh, in the city. A Makoti who's going to go there for the ceremony maybe and just be there for a few days and then goes off to, to the city then. Uh, it would be a different uh, situation than someone who's going to be based, who's going to stay there in the village. So after taking off the intense Makoti attire, the attire for the new Makoti, you can now wear your Makoti attire like the one that I usually show here on my channel. You can go on and wear your, your, your duke, uh, your colorful duke. Uh, you can wear your your apron now can be shorter it does not have to be the same length as a skirt you can also put on color now on your apron and your skirt you can decorate your apron and your skirt with the ribbon with colorful ribbons or you can yeah you can just mix any color <laughs> that uh, you want unlike when you 
it when you uh, were still in your makoti your your apron and your your, your skirt and your apron are usually just plain uh just plain with no color or with no decorations and your apron is usually uh, the same length as uh the skirt the third thing to expect on that day is that you will be given a name so your in-laws will give you a name that they will use when referring to you so it is usually your sister-in-law or your mother-in-law uh, that usually keep, come up with with names so generally in the african culture our naming process usually follow these uh, things such as this so it's either your name is going to convey a message the name is going to communicate a feeling or your name is going to be associated with an event so even with uh, the naming of umagodi that's how uh, the our names are, are thought so it's either your name is going to communicate is going to come is going to convey a message message from the in-laws to you sometimes they want you to asange alake it's things like that that bring us together unite us or your name is going to communicate a feeling how they feel about you how the in-laws feel about your about you being uh, their daughter-in-law or your name will uh, will be associated with an event names such as you would hear like in the olden days if, names such as on a first on a last where you are associated you kind of being said that you are the first wife or you are the last wife or on a pair or things like that so that is how our naming it, it, it's it's a it's a general african uh, way of naming but also our name our uh, our names uh, as oh my god they come up like that they mean they have a meaning communicate a message feeling associated with an event so yeah so the fourth thing to expect as a makoti on that day is that you will be seated on a red mat a uh, which would be put which would be placed uh, in a particular place in the house so if your ceremony is held in a village or uh, where we have rendezvous you know the round house in the eastern cape those houses are the houses that we usually use whenever we have uh the, uh, the important gatherings are uh, in the home so if you are in the rendezvous the, as you enter the rendezvous the right hand side of the house is usually reserved for women the left hand side is usually reserved for men so your 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 ukukolako will be placed almost close to the door so that's where you will be seated uh during uh the ceremony so the fifth thing to expect on that day as umakode is that as the day ends as the ceremony ends you will be asked to go uh, and get water so this is done in this way that uh, they will ask uh, a child around the home uh, or children around home to accompany to accompany you to go and show you where to get water so uh, as you know that in our time in our times we do have uh, sources of water around our homes it's either georgia tank or the or some homes do have the boreholes but they won't ask you to go and get water here around the yard you they want you to step out of the or step out of the yard you must go and get water from the river if there's still a river in your village or they will uh, if there's a, a a community tap like in my case they were no longer using uh are they in rivers they were used they had a, a community tap so i had to go to the community tap so it's uh this act of getting water it's about you getting the feel of the village just get a view of the village as you go there to get water and you must go there and be able to come back home something yeah it's something like that it's about getting the feel and being able to go get uh the water and come be able to come back and enter the gate again so it's not about uh them wanting to see if you are able <laughs> to put the the thing on your the water can on your head or not it's just it's it's part of the of the tradition that they must let you get out of the yard and then you must come back again
so yeah okay that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it that is uh, those are the five things that you can expect uh on your tsiki day uh thank you for watching the video bye